Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to look at a charged sphere and calculate the voltage outside the sphere at two different points, point A and point B, point A being right on the outside surface of the sphere, point B being at one meter away from the center of the sphere. Notice the radius of the sphere is five centimeters and the charge on the sphere is 10 nanocoulombs. Because we have all the charge on the outside of the sphere, it acts as if all the charges at the center of the sphere, and that's why we can use these two equations right here to find the voltages A and B, and then we'll also show you how to find the voltage between the two points using this integration equation. All right, starting over here, we have K. K is equal to nine times 10 to the ninth Newtons meter squared per Coulomb squared, multiply that times 10 nanocoulombs, which is 10 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs, all divided by the distance, and that would be 5 centimeters or 0 0.05 meters. And let's see here, that's not even squared. That should be to the first power, so that's definitely an error here. So change that just to the first power. And now we need a calculator. So we have a 9e to the 9 times 10 e to the 9 minus divided by 0 0.05 and so this is equal to 1800 volts all right now we do it again for point b which is one meter away so this is 9 times 10 to the 9th newtons meter squared per coulomb squared multiply that times 10 to the minus 10 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs and the whole thing divided by one meter so one meter now that is 20 times as big, so that would be 20 times as small, so divided by 2 is 900, that would be 90 volts. All right, so now we can take the difference. So what do these expressions mean? VA minus VB is the same as starting at B and moving to A and see how the voltage changes. So if the voltage at A is 1800 volts and the voltage at B is 90 volts and we move from this point to this point, that means we move from 90 volts to 1800 volts, that means we go up in potential, and so therefore write this as 1800 volts minus 90 volts, which is 1710 volts. That's the potential difference moving from B to A, and this is how it's written. And then of course when we reverse the order, now we move from A to B, so we go from a high potential to a low potential, so in this case this would be 90 volts minus 1800 volts, and so that's now a voltage drop of 1710 volts. And so that's the meaning of those expressions. Now we should be able to get the same result using the integral equation, so we're going to use this right here. Now notice that the integral goes from A to B. That means our DL goes from A to B. That means we have a small DL in this direction. And we have the electric field in this direction. And so notice that in this case, if we integrate from A to B, both E and DL are pointed in the same direction. And since it's a dot product, we multiply E times DL times the cosine of the angle between them. But since they're pointing in the same direction, the angle is zero and the cosine of zero is one. So this can then be written as VA minus VB is therefore equal to the integral going from A to B of E times DL times the cosine of zero degrees, so just one. Now, changing that, we know that E is equal to this equation right here, so this can be written as the integral from A to B of KQ over R squared, and DL then becomes DR as we move away in a radial direction. So that can then be written as, this is equal to, take the k and the q out, we have the integral from a to b of r to the negative 2 power dr, and now we can go ahead and integrate that. So this becomes equal to kq, that's not really a q, there we go, q. Uh, r to negative 2 becomes r to negative 1 divided by negative 1, so that would be times r to the negative 1 divided by negative 1, evaluated from a to B. And so we should rewrite this as a negative kq, put the negative over here, times 1 over r evaluated from A to B. So now we go ahead and put in those limits. So we have minus kq times, putting the upper limit would be 1 over B, minus putting the lower limit would be minus 1 over A. And of course now we can go ahead and plug in those values 
And so this would be equal to minus k. Oh, actually, you know what we could do? We could reverse the order and get rid of this negative sign. So let's do that. So we could write this as kq uh, times 1 over a minus 1 over b. Yep, got ahead of myself. There we go. And let's see here. Um, yeah, we could probably leave it like that. Plug in some numbers. So this is equal to k times q. So k would be 9 times 10 to the 9th. Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. Multiply that times uh, 10 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs. That's the charge. And then we multiply this times 1 over a, which is 0 0.05 minus 1 over 1. All right, so what do we get? Uh, let's see here, that would be one minus one divided by, uh, let me take that again. So one divided by 0 0.05 minus one times 10 e to the nine minus times nine e to the ninth, and we get minus 70, not minus 90. Let me try it again. All right, so we have 1 divided by 0 0.05 minus 1 times 10 e to the 9 minus times 9 e to the 9 and 1,700. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And so this ends up being 1,710 volts. And that is indeed equal what we got over here. When we took VA minus VB, we get the exact same answer over here, which is what we're hoping for. And so you can see that you can actually solve it using this equation, or you can solve it using these equations. And that is how it's done. Well, that's actually a good idea if you want to do the math. And uh, you can simply say 10 to the times uh, 10 to the 9, 10 to the minus 9, they cancel out. That's kind of the same over here. We could do the same over here. And then the expression then becomes 9 times 10, which is uh, 90 divided by 0 0.05 is like multiplying times 20. 90 times 20 is 1800 volts. So we didn't even need a calculator. Good suggestion. If you look at it, it's the same equation as you're doing. And at that point, yeah, it becomes the same equation.